BAE Systems has for the first time revealed the significant contribution the Dreadnought submarine program makes to the UK economy, supporting almost 30,000 jobs across the country. While nearly half of these jobs reside in the northwest of England, the supply chain for Dreadnought extends to every region of the UK. Working with partners Rolls-Royce and the Submarine Delivery Agency as part of the Dreadnought Alliance, BAE Systems estimates it will spend in the region of £7.5 billion with 1,500 supply chain companies over the life of the programme across England, Scotland, Wales and Northern Ireland. The Dreadnought-class boats will be the Royal Navy's biggest, most powerful and most technically advanced submarines when they begin to enter service from the early 2030s and will play a pivotal role in the nation's defense and security for decades to come. Work on the first two boats in the class is well underway at the company's shipyard in Barrow and Furness, Cumbria. The research, which highlights the scale and influence the program has on the UK's industrial base and its contribution to the country's economic prosperity, comes as the government has reaffirmed its commitment to maintaining the UK's continuous at sea deterrent. Key findings of the research include £2.5 billion worth of contracts have already been placed with suppliers across the UK, including Northwest. £400 million spent to date, including on power systems and sensors, supporting 13,500 jobs, Yorkshire and Hummer, £350 million spent to date, including on gearboxes and steel, supporting 2,500 jobs, Southeast, £235 million spent to date, including on electrical systems, antenna systems and control panels, supporting 2,500 jobs, Scotland, £215 million spent to date, including on periscopes, supporting 2,000 jobs. Of the 30,000 jobs which are sustained by the Dreadnought program, nearly 8,000 are directly employed by BAE Systems, with 11,800 jobs in the program supply chain, and a further 10,200 induced jobs supported across the country. Dreadnought will have a sustained and lasting impact on UK employment, supporting thousands of jobs reaching all UK regions to at least 2035. Alongside Submarine's colleagues, engineers at the company's electronic systems business in Rochester are taking decades of flight controls expertise underwater, adapting systems which are usually used in fly-by-wire aircraft and applying them to Dreadnought. This innovative approach involves adapting controls that are usually used in fly-by-wire aircraft and applying them in a marine environment. The Complete Active Vehicle Control Management AVCM, system will oversee all major aspects of the submarine's maneuvering capability to the highest levels of safety and reliability, similar to existing systems on modern air transport platforms. Similar to how fly-by-wire works for aircraft, whereby electronic systems are used to control the movement of aircraft, the company's engineers are developing electronics that control the heading, pitch, depth and buoyancy of the Dreadnought class among other critical elements with added safety benefits. Dreadnought-class submarine design and features. Following the completion, the Dreadnought-class submarine will become the Royal Navy's largest submarine. It will have a length of 153.6 meters and displacement of 17,200 t. The submarine will be installed with 42.5 kilometers long piping, approximately 13,000 electrical items and more than 20,000 cables. The submarine will be manned by 130 crew members, including three chefs and a doctor. A designated sickbay will allow the doctor to conduct routine checkups and distribute medicines. The submarine will also have separate crew accommodation, toilets and washing facilities for female personnel. A separate study area will be built and gym facilities, including exercise bikes, rowers and weight benches, will also be available. The vessel will be capable of producing its own oxygen and fresh water. It will feature innovative lighting, simulating day and night. A new design will be incorporated to make the submarine technologically advanced and safe. The Dreadnought submarines are planned to be built in 16 blocks, which will be grouped into three major units, including aft, mid and forward. Dreadnought-class submarines will be equipped with the latest Sonar 2076 system, which will provide the vessel with advanced acoustic detection capability. The sonar, currently in operation with Astute-class submarines, has a combination of outboard arrays and an inboard processing capacity. The sonars and sensors will increase the crew's visual and situational awareness. In addition, the vessels will have a combat system mass that will integrate optical systems, electronic warfare and communications. 
The Dreadnought class submarine will be installed with eight operational missile tubes for launching Trident 2D5 missile that can carry nuclear warheads. Four additional tubes will be configured with ballast. The Trident ballistic missile is a solid fuel, inertial guided missile that can carry multiple W76 Mk4 Mk4A or W88 Mk5 re-entry bodies. It has an operational range of 4000 Nm, 7360 km. The UK is developing a common missile compartment, CMC, that will accommodate the Trident weapon system in cooperation with the US. The two countries are involved in a program to extend the Trident 2D5 missile service life until the early 2060s. The UK is also considering options for the replacement of the existing nuclear warhead, which is expected to be in service until the early 2040s. The manufacture of the four-boat fleet, each designed to remain undetected for months at sea, is one of the largest and most complex engineering projects in the world. It is estimated that it will take in the region of 150 million work hours to design and manufacture the four Dreadnought-class submarines. The business continues to invest in and develop its employees and recruit new talent too for this complex program, with engineers from across 40 disciplines and specialisms needed to support the delivery of Dreadnought. More than 600 apprentices and 50 graduates are currently in training in the submarines business, and over the next five years, a further 200 graduates and 1,500 apprentices will be recruited. The findings, published in the year the Barrow Shipyard celebrates its 150th anniversary, emphasizes the vital role that the business continues to play, both strategically within the UK's defense sector and to the wider economy. To maintain its position as the custodian of the UK's submarine design and build capability, the Barrow site is being transformed to accommodate the new class of boat, with approximately £1 billion of investment in facilities and infrastructure. A further £450 million is being invested in new technology to optimize the design and manufacturing processes and enhance the capability of the submarine. The Dreadnought class will replace the existing Barrow-built Vanguard fleet and will be the Royal Navy's biggest, most powerful and technically advanced submarines when they begin to enter service in the early 2030s.